Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Ems and today I'm going to finish my power supply. It's a bench power supply which I started uh, several months ago. It's computer power supply which I bought on a flea market for two dollars and it surprisingly worked so I decided to convert it to a bench power supply. Today I'm going to put all the parts together. This power supply is made for European circuits and voltage. This is the back part which I had to design and 3D print. It was very difficult for me because I had never done that before. And it's going to be like this. This is the front part which I also had to design in Tinkercad and 3D print. As you can see it's very simple design. And it's going to be there like this. But before of course I have to cut the hole for connectors. You will see that later on in this video. Here you can see parameters. It's a 350 watts model. Here is the version you can find for this version specification if you have time to read. The latest version is probably 2.4. On the left side you can see output voltages. I'm not going to use all of them. I'm just going to use uh, positive ones, 3.3, 5 volts and 12 volts. Here are connectors. Here you can see the green one and black one and if you connect them together uh, the power supply switch is on. Yeah? The black one is ground and the green one is called power on. Yeah? Here you can see again the black wire and blue wire and, and they are connected with a LED diode and it signals uh, when the power supply is under power. Here you can see another two wires, again the ground, the black one and the grey one and they are also connected uh, to a LED diode uh, which starts lighting when the power supply is on. Here you can see voltage branches. Uh, the black one is ground, uh, the yellow one is a 12 volt branch, the red one is 5 volt branch and orange one is 3.3 volt branch. Here you can see uh, connectors you can find in ATX power supplies. There are two versions which are connected to motherboards and they are pretty same. And this way I'm going to connect uh, all those uh, voltage branches and the rest of the connectors. Yeah, also LED diodes are going here. Now I'm going to cut the hole for the front panel for my bench power supply.
Okay, I've done that. I think it looks perfect. And now I'm going to put all the parts together. The first thing I have to put it there is the main board. I have to screw back all the screws. There are just four of them. Here is the main connector I have to connect to the board. Now I have to cover it, but before I connected the fan connector to the main board. Now I'm putting on the power supply the back part, which I 3D printed, and I reused those screws from the original case. This is the front panel and I have to put on it all the connectors. These three are voltage branches. Now I'm connecting the power supply to button switch and now I'm connecting the fuse holder and last thing I have to do is to connect LED diodes to the front panel. For the front panel I also reused the two screws from the original case and now my bench power supply is done so I like it. I forgot to mention that some power supplies needs so-called a dummy load but I don't need it for this power supply because it works without that. Okay so now I'm going to test it so I'm going to plug it to the mains yes and now you can see that the red LED diode is on and it means that the power supply is under power. When I switch it on, the power supply, the green LED diode is also on. And you can see that fan is spinning now. Now I'm going to measure voltages on voltage branches with my baby multimeter. And this is 3.3 .3 branch. This is the 5 volt branch and the last one is the 12 volt branch which also works. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you found that kind of useful. I'm going to use this power supply for my next experiments, so you'll probably see it in my next videos. So thank you for watching and see you next time.